This massive structure is a pumping station. It is downtown Belize City's solution to its perennial flooding issue. Works on the structure began in 2018 and is expected to be completed within the next three months. All that is left to be installed are four screw pumps that are being shipped from a company called Landustry in the Netherlands. As you are aware, we have um, three canals within that area. We have East Canal, which comes from the Hallover Creek along Publix towards Caesar Ridge. Then we also have Collet Canal, which is which also originates from the Hallover Creek near the fish market at Vernon Street. And then it continues straight towards the Caesar Ridge Road um, Bridge. And then you also have North Creek Canal, which comes from the Central American Boulevard area and connects to um, Collet Canal. So the three canals intersect at um, Cot Avenue, thereabouts. So the idea with the pumping station is for us to get rid of basically the water within that canal as quickly as we can so that it could relieve the water that is overtopping on the side roads and side streets. In October 2021, Belize City received over four inches of rain leaving many low-lying areas in downtown Belize City underwater. A case study done by the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center in 2015 found that there is an increase in the intensity and variability of rainfall in the last months of each year. The study found that these occurrences pose problems for Belize City, which is already prone to flooding. We sat down with Belize City Mayor Bernard Wagner. It's never a good situation when you, when you um, as a resident, um, have to access out of your home and have to walk into water on the street. Um, sometimes you would have um, flooding in your yards, but when you have to access um, public streets and, and there is flooding, then that brings a really tough pill to swallow for residents. And, and I'm certain that, that with this, this new approach, right, and again, the, the whole project is, is built on on climate vulnerability reduction program, um, trying to change um, the narrative in respect to how we, how we address flooding in different areas of the city. The pumping station is separated into three sections, an open canal, the area where the pumping mechanisms are housed, and a sedimentation basin. When the three canals in Belize City become inundated with floodwaters, these sluice gates located along each canal will be closed to prevent the continued flow of water from Hallover Creek. Simultaneously, the screw pumps will activate and work to quickly remove floodwaters from within the canals into the sea. With over a hundred years of experience, Landustry says its screw pumps are the most durable and efficient in the world, quiet and environmentally friendly. Yes, it's the first time that we're implementing such um, engineering feat in Belize. And so it's a first for us as well. But definitely we have seen it um, being implemented in, in other parts of the world. Um, I think in New Orleans, you also have it. Um, we've also gotten reports where we've seen it in Italy because those are also areas that have flooding issues. And there are also um, other areas within Central America that it has been implemented. I am very comforted um, knowing that it, has, it is not something that has been a uh, trial run in, in Belize City, but it has been tested regionally, regionally and internationally already. So um, we, we, we are optimistic, very, very optimistic. Chief Engineer Evan Dale Moody is optimistic that the pumping station will function to the benefit of residents in the event of an emergency. Mayor Bernard Wagner looks forward to the prospect of such a solution. But a pumping station like this is not without its limitations, the greatest among them being the indiscriminate dumping of solid waste in city drains and the canals. We're dealing with the bigger picture itself, which is the canal, and so the secondary drains needs to be maintained um, routinely so that those drains are not clogged up. Because if they are clogged up, then, and we're doing this, this, this major initiative for the canal and the water cannot get to the canal, then it defeats the whole purpose, right? So we have to have the buy-in from the city council itself. This approach to, to alleviate flooding is not only a government issue or a city council issue, 
or a ministry issue, it's all of us taking ownership of ensuring that we make sure that those drains in front of our properties are properly clean. The city council will do its part. Um, we have a robust maintenance um, drain cleaning mechanism in place, but we still need our residents to, to participate with us, become a partner with us. Um, practice the civic pride. Don't throw the, 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 the um, big refrigerator. We have found refrigerators in our canals, you know, ensuring that we don't throw the, the mattress, we don't throw the, the whole stove or the whole refrigerator in the canals. That, that type of um, behavior has to change. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.